Hey, how are you doing? My name's Elton, and I'm going to show you how to set up Docker on your Ubuntu machine. If you're just getting started with Docker, this is for you, and will be done in about five minutes. I'll walk through the installation, show you how to run some simple Docker containers, and then you're all set to experiment on your own, or go along to one of your local meetups, which you should definitely do. The Docker community is friendly and welcoming. Here we go. Docker's on home ground with Ubuntu, taking advantage of core features of the Linux operating system. You can run Docker on Mac and Windows too, but at the moment you have to do it through a virtual machine running Linux. With Ubuntu, we don't need a VM, we can run Docker natively. So here's my Ubuntu machine. I'm running a fresh install of 15.10, but Docker is supported back to 12.04, and it runs on Ubuntu desktop and server editions. The installation instructions have got some bits here that we'll need to copy and paste, starting with the apt setup, which I need to run with sudo. Next, add the key for the docker source, and then we're going to write the source in its own file. This is another copy-paste job, making sure that you pick the right repo for your version of Ubuntu. OK, now I can run apt-get update, and then install the package we want, which is called Docker Engine. This is the core Docker runtime. There are other tools as well, but we'll focus on this for now. Docker installs as a service, so I'll start it with sudo, and I could start using it now. But to save having to use sudo for every Docker command, I'll add my own user to the Docker group with user mod ag. You'll want to do this on your dev machine, but obviously with your own username. I'll need to log out, and then log back in again for that user mod to take effect. To test Docker is working correctly, we should run some containers, and I'll start with the classic Hello World. Docker run Hello World is your first step to becoming a master of containerization, and it's a simple command where Docker does a lot of work for you. Hello World is the name of an image on the public Docker Hub repository, and when you ask Docker to run it, it downloads the image locally, creates a container based off that image, and starts it up. All the Hello World image does is output some text and then end, but you take the exact same approach for more complex containers, and there are thousands of images already on the Hub. A web server image is a good test of your setup, so we'll try this one, which runs a simple web server inside a container. docker run dash d dash uppercase p seekvents static site. That one will take a little longer to download, but when it's done, it will start a web server which is listening for requests. The dash d flag tells docker to run the container in the background and dash p tells it to publish the network ports that the container exposes on the local machine. We can run docker ps to see which containers are running in the background, and this tells us the web server is running, and that port 80 inside the container is mapped as port 32769 on the local machine. This is a random port mapping, and it could be different on your machine, but I can browse to this now, and we'll see the site. Like it says, this is being hosted from the Nginx web server running inside a Docker container. Very simple, but very powerful. The Docker ecosystem is growing all the time and the Docker engine is just the core. Docker Compose is the next one to look at. It's a Python tool, but you can get in a bit of a fix installing it with pip, so I'll follow the official installation instructions, which means running this script as root. That installs Docker Compose, and now I'll give access to other users with chmod. Compose lets you describe a whole deployment built from many containers working together, and it works from a text file in the YAML format. I'll show you a very quick example. Here's an empty Docker Compose YAML file, and I'll add an entry for the static site container. I can give it a friendly name, then specify the image source, and I'll explicitly map the port so the site is running on 8080 locally, mapping to port 80 inside the container. There's a stack of other Docker engine options that I can also use in Compose, like limiting the container to 500 megs of memory, and flagging that it should always restart, which means whenever the Docker service starts, it will start my container. That's it, I'll save the file and start my container using docker compose up d 
thus the same dash D flag to start it in the background. If I look at the running containers now, I'll see my original container is still there, and I also have the second container that I started with Compose. When I restart the Docker service, the first container will die, but the Compose defined container gets restarted, so that's running now with port 8080 mapped. I'll browse to that address and we see the same site, but the Docker Compose file makes managing that container much easier. It takes just a few minutes to install Docker on Ubuntu using apt and Docker Compose using the bash script. When you've installed Docker, run hello world and started the static web server, then your machine is all set up. Now you can run any one of thousands of container images from the Docker hub, including official images for popular software like MySQL, Nginx and Node. And of course, you can build your own images running your own software. That's it for this short tutorial. I hope you found it useful and I hope you go on to have fun with Docker.